Greetings, scum, and welcome to Flail to the Face! Oh my god. My name is Cannibal Chris, and I will be our game master as we continue to play Merc Borg, as always. This is the Merc Borg Show. We're playing Church of the Worms still, so uh, let's get into it. Hello, I am Levi. Oh yeah, you died a horrible shit death. Yeah, oh, shit yeah. death. Levi's in limbo. I'm Thomas, and I'm continuing to play Weebit. For now. I'm Kevin, and I'm playing Tommy. <laughs> I'm Todd Word Ingrid. That does sound right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I'm Nate, and I play Screech. Scratchers. No, you're Dorian. For now. Shh. Who is that? What the flail? <laughs> <laughs> So the uh, four of you now, or where five, there are now four, are deep underneath the tunnels of the cesspits of Schleswig. Kind of winding tunnels of various width and description. <laughs> Before you guys continue on, you guys are heading to wherever it is that these shit eaters are communing. Mm. Um, and you think you're going the right way. Either way, somebody give me a D8, a D10, and another D10. Make Vacation Boy do it. Yes, Vacation Boy. <laughs> D8, I got a five. Go. Ooh. Fingers are crisp for dice rolling. <laughs> and got a five on a D10. Good. And a one. Okay. You guys continue on, and you guys turn another corner. You guys are blindly turning corners. You don't know where you're going. But you turn, and you notice the hallway that you guys are wandering down is, is immensely sticky to the touch, like flypaper. But as you guys continue on, you start hearing this grinding and this this uh, squelching as in front of you, you notice a worm about as thick as a man, rib flesh, foul odor that's almost apparent before anything else is. This muscular extension over this toothless mouth. Uh, roll initiative, boys. It's getting heavy. This thing's coming at you. Nice. Your food. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a five. That's a five. That's you guys. You guys see this thing coming at you, and it looks hungry, I guess. As hungry as a worm could look. You see Paul Troon, uh, who's still there, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> just that make sure. Uh, who's the only one, I believe, that's with you guys anymore. You see him kind of turn to, to run, and he just kind of runs in place like a fucking mime would. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. I know. He's <laughs> the NPC. Yeah, that's how it goes. That being said, actually, there is something that I noticed the uh, earlier yesterday as we were talking about the uh, last episode's companion, we, um, which you all know at this point is uh, a bunch of followers. Oh. Uh, I noticed, and it's a paragraph in the book that I don't think I've ever fucking read in my life. <laughs> it's the followers paragraph on page 71. It says the GM makes a morale check from time to time, succeed in the outcast stays, and adds the group's highest presence to the role. The GM should also consider whether or not the group provides the outcast with the things he, she, it values. That being said, um, with Paltroon doing the goofy little runoff thing he did, let's have a morale roll. And uh, who has the highest presence? I have plus two. That's current, current winner. Uh, yeah, I have zero. Okay, we got I have one. We got plus two going once. Going to <laughs> For what? Presence? Yes, presence. That's, I got a three. I'm oh. dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. I looked, I looked at you, too. Man, you're really, I'm dead. Okay, so we're going to add a plus three to this morale roll. So just give me a 2d6. Then, Nate, since you're the one with the biggest uh, presence. Yeah, he is. Eight plus Eight. three. I realize now I don't know what Platoon's uh, stats are. <laughs> but eight plus three is definitely a successful, um, regardless of what it is. So we'll call it that. Okay. Wunderbar. Yeah, just something that I noticed yesterday. I'm like, we've never used this. Okay. So I feel like it's relevant now. Anyway, go ahead, guys. Yeah, where's the bad part? The bad part? That was it. Who's going first here? I, I play my sword flute. You guys are. You're gonna play your sword flute at it? I, I have to, yes. I, don't I love it. One. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> it technically, I wanna call this an animal for the sake of the mechanics of that. You can play it like an instrument. The lovely tunes have a two in six chance of enchanting him for a plus two to reaction roll. Okay, so that's a great point. So. Uh, this is a worm, right? Really hard to determine its mood. So what we're going to do is you're going to play that. You, you're going to do your d6. If it succeeds, we'll add that to a reaction roll, which will roll regardless. Is he drooling from his mouth? Or yes. Butt? He yes. looks hungry. I assume yeah. he's hungry. I feel like he might be always be doing that, but, you know, he currently is, yes. That's a 19 on the dice, it's my a, friend. It's a d6 you're going to oh, have Oh, fuck. To do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you automatically play it. Uh, four. Four. Oh, four? That's a fair. Okay, so yeah, you play this uh, horrible tune. 
Like, it's so bad you can almost smell it. No mm. sense that makes. Maybe because he's blowing through it. This does sound <laughs> The skeleton's <laughs> breath. <laughs> uh, the worm, I guess what we're going to do then is we're just going to roll a reaction anyway then. Sure. So give me that reaction roll anyway, 2d6. The one and a f- six. It's hard to tell what it's doing exactly by its because it's a worm, but it's still coming at you guys. So I did nothing. It, well, you, you, the, the result was indifferent, <laughs> and uh, I feel like it's how you feel about your food when you're a worm. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it's just food. That's and yeah. yeah, they don't have a lot I of. I just life. keep playing my stupid that songs. Tracks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, who else? Um. Uh, well. Yeah. After uh, after watching that wonderful display of uh, music adept, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of level my crossbow like just over his shoulder yeah, and fire a bolt at the worm. Okay, so since you're leveling it over his shoulder, there's a penalty to failure, I feel. If you fail by a lot, you know what oh, I mean? Okay. So five or lower. That's I fair. swear to God, if you hit a one. Well, if, I was going to say five or lower. Out there. I'm going to go ahead and omen that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you still have omens? You could have saved me. It's a new day. Oh, that's right. It's a new day. Uh, that's a five. That's a five? Total? Oh my I said God. five or lower, didn't I? You, you did. did. Yep. So that does D8 damage, correct? Correct. And you have how much armor? None. Okay, well, Thomas, <gasps> roll that D8. Tell us whatever you wanted to tell us. Oh, wait, do I have my smoking jacket? <laughs> no. No, it's Fuck. shit covered. You legitimately. No, he did because it was shit covered because we pulled it down through with us. You thought, do have okay. it, yes. I thought okay. he, was, he was rather bitter about that. That's yes, true, actually, yes. <laughs> uh, what did you hit me with? Uh, a three. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Mine is your D2 that's, that's as well, bad. so. Could be basically nothing. So yeah. One damage. Yes! Yeah. I'm not the bad. Best. Sticks into his into his uh, shoulder blade bone. Yep. Could you watch where you're aiming that? I'm going to look at him. Just kind of stand up straight and crack my back a bit. And, s- like, stab the Volge into this, what I assume is just shit. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just <laughs> mostly. It's not a volge. I know it's it's uh, probably like more of a halberd, whatever. whatever. So I just stab it into the ground and I pull my bow. I take a shot at this worm. I like it. You guys are <laughs> fucking clowns. <laughs> <clowns. laughs> pretty good. <laughs> just put just yourself put together, together top 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 Okay. I you don't know. have my flesh. I'm a little, I'm a little uh, uh, under the weather. The weather. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. Stressed out. 18. 18 to hit with that bow. Don't bring yeah. that up. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you're covered. And uh, so give me your damage and don't subtract D2, just subtract 2. Because it says ribbed skin minus 2. Yum. I don't know if that's meant to be D2 or not, but uh, it just says 2. So we're going to. Fuck a duck. How much one. you get? 3 minus 1. Okay. Oh, I so mean, one. no, minus 2. I got you. Okay, so moving on then. So Weemit or um, Tommy? Oh, Weemit went. He's the one yeah, that. Yeah, oh, shot, never mind. I yeah. shot Toddward. That's true. Okay, so then it's just Tommy. Okay, Tommy's going to pull out the, the cane blow dart thing that he pilfered off of uh, Pee Wee, and he's going to kind of whip out some of the shit that's in the tube. <laughs> smart, smart. <laughs> load uh, yeah. load a the... dart and try to shoot it at the, the big m- wormy guy. I like to think you just, like, flip out a poop cylinder. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like a perfect yeah, cylinder. Yeah, like a, it's just like a solid straw. I he just, like, blew it out. Just... <laughs> Yeah, except when he inhaled, it went into the back of his throat. <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> Looks like shit back on the menu, boy. <laughs> this test <are> infected. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> um, that was a five. I'm going to omen that. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> how much da- Wait, how much damage does that thing do? They're just do? D2s. I don't know. It, it, it's just D2? It D2? It's a D2. I mean, it's just a blow dart. It's a blow dart. It's not yeah, gonna, it's a D2. I've been hit so by an actual blow dart. So you do nothing. It's a D2. It's you gonna do, do nothing. That's minus yeah. two. No damage. Uh, actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense, though. It is a giant worm. You just, just shoot, shoot it in the sphincter. Don't omen. Don't even waste it. Don't omen that. I'm just gonna... I'll let it... I'll let it fly. It just sticks into the poop. It just gone <laughs> into the shit, into the wall. It absorbs it. Yeah, it just <laughs> <laughs> disappears. Damn it. With that, that's the worm, isn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. You're playing a flute. You're shooting a crossbow. You're shooting a blow dart. You're shooting. A... I got. I got you guys to keep your distance from it. Yeah, <laughs> that's really smart. Yeah. yeah. So that means then I, I kind of feel like you're all kind of even. Right? I do think I want to be, like, kind of backing up a bit if it's still coming at us. Like, I, I don't want to be shooting a bow at something it that's is. coming at me and not try to take... Roll a d5 and whoever's really picked is picked. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll go d4 because the fifth guy's not here yet. So, oh, shit, uh, right. Yeah, so we'll, and we'll start round robin. So Thomas, Kevin, Jake, Nate, uh, you know, your character's not your people. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, so Levi, 
roll a d4. Ah. Let him do something. Ah, participation <laughs> trophy. Yeah, yeah, get the white yeah. ribbon. <laughs> Here you go. One. One, that's, 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 uh, that's we met. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, so uh, this thing lunges. This Do earth-shattering damage to Weem at once, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Big fucking maybe, to be honest. And this thing, like, lumbering. It's it's slow moving as it's coming at you guys, but it makes this fucking leap. And give me a DR12 agility test, Thomas. Alright. Spite Omen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not needed. It is a natural one. Yeah! Oh, oh, no! my oh my god. <laughs> okay, so take D10 damage. Holy oh, fuck. Oh. And double it. Holy fuck. I'm dead serious. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Uh, and you, your armor uh, breaks if you have any. Yeah. That's actually true. After the, after the application. After. Yeah. Use one of your anal beads. Yeah, you might have to. I roll the two. Oh, oh. that's lucky. Oh. So four damage is what we're looking oh, at. Oh, you lucky so four damage. A... And I have the shield of faith. Uh-huh. Which is, let's see. what. It also that? reflects damage. But it's not on his back. Uh, Weren't you shooting uh, a crossbow? He was shooting a crossbow. Yeah. 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 That's Unless terrible. That's a devil's yeah. advocate over here. No, just that makes sense, though. That makes sense. That crossbow right. is a two-hander. So, yeah, four damage then. Okay, that's not that bad. Did you have armor otherwise? It's but also... Terrible. Nope, no other armor on him. <laughs> okay. But also... Oh, I figured this might be bad. Give me a strength test. Mm. DR12. Oh, boy. Uh, that's gonna be a seven. Okay. Mm. So, Ooh. so this thing lunges and you see it like crush Weemit, right? Like he crushes him under the weight of it. And you see like his mouth agape as it does this. The weight of this whole thing. He's inside the goddamn mouth. Just standing. Yeah, and you see like it kind of rear back again and Weemit's in its fucking mouth. Like you see the bottoms of his bony ass feet. Uh oh. But, and Weemit, from inside there, you see like this, this wonderful, brilliant light inside there. <laughs> Like, it's the fucking sun inside this damn worm. Somewhere deep in there, though, you're seeing these lights cast from inside. This might have been the greatest time for that worm that could to be here. <laughs> that, that's a fair point. <laughs> 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 All right, so with that, Thomas, to give you uh, transparency as to the mechanics around it right now, it says test strength DR12 will be grappled and next turn devoured. Oh. So starting next turn, if you fail to get out of that, it's going to be D8 damage per round that oh. you're being devoured oh. until you're dead, oh, obviously. Okay. So you got to get out of there. Um, Let's roll initiative again. Right. I don't want to. I know, right? Everything's terrifying <laughs> more often than not. One! A one! Hey. Perfect! So, oh, great me. That thing, you oh, feel no. this muscular pharynx squeezing you. So give me another strength test. Got that gluck gluck. I'm gonna omen that. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that is going to be a 12. Oh, on the nuts. Okay, so Oof. you're like, you're struggling against this thing's uh, uh, throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you managed to like, well, how do you get out of that? Because you did something to get yourself out of there. What'd you do? Uh, um, I imagine I take uh, one of my bolts from my quiver and I just start jabbing into oh, yeah. the throat of this worm. We're like, not... We're not going to say that that creates any damage per se. Yeah, but it does damage, just like an irritant, so yep. that it just like vomits me back out. Perfect. It regurgitates you, but you're not the only thing it regurgitates. As this light comes rushing at you as this happens, and you see a face amongst this light kind of like rush out what of you because this worm is just like regurgitating you all. All these muscles are pushing you guys out, and yet you're ejected from this worm's mouth. As is this other person. I be born again. Don't kill it with fire. <laughs> <laughs> what does this weird little dude look like as he's vomited out of this worm's stomach? He's about four foot tall. Beautiful. What? He's four foot tall, yes. Oh, no. That's why he's in there so well. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, a bright and shining flame pompadour. And... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking uh, endeavor. You're the worst. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean? While all this was happening before, like <laughs> this worm has Weemit in his mouth and shit, and I, I turned to I turn over to Todd Word and I'm like, Yeah, he's probably a lost cause. Maybe we Maybe just we continue on this way. way. And then they just start getting thrown up. It's like, Oh, we were about to just come in and save you. <laughs> Good diamond, diamond. I still prefer I still your prefer first, first idea. idea. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Right. And, All right. That's on you guys now. And he's in leather armor. Oh, good to know. <laughs> with a broad, that's the, with that's a broad the detail axe. we needed to really put it together. Yeah, with a broad axe on his back. <laughs> oh, that's helpful. actually more helpful than the leather armor. What is actually happening here? I feel like I shouldn't be the one that's confused. 
I'm waiting for the new guy to say something, honestly. He's not said much, and I don't know if he's enemy or friend. I feel like there are bigger problems, Todd You're right. And I turn around and start running. <laughs> You're just running? I just run away. I like it. Okay. I run through the yeah, you, fields. You guys see Todd would take off, and he just takes a corner. He's gone. What a fool. I grab my halberd off the wall. I don't want to leave it here. Gotcha. But then what? How's this worm looking? Good. Mm. <laughs> Wormy. <laughs> looking nice. Looking hungry. Mm -hmm. looking hungry like and vi luck. virile. <laughs> Vain enough. <laughs> I've been in there for hours! He's very bleached. I gotta <laughs> imagine, due to the stomach acid from the worm. How? <laughs> I look over at Tommy and I shrug, like, what the fuck are we doing here? Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh. Oh. Can I join you guys? <laughs> Just don't talk. Let's fucking go. I'll bring my flames of justice. <laughs> what the fuck what does, that does that even mean? It means what it means. What Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. So your hair is on fire like Firestorm, pretty much. Yeah. I like it. That's cool. <laughs> He's Endeavor, like I said. <laughs> He's a tiny little Endeavor. He's we even, like flick some of this like bile crap off of him, and he's just like, Todd, we might have, have something with something this plan. This plan. So just, just who? running who? after him. Who? Everyone's yeah. following me. Yeah, you can follow yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We only have to outrun you. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, the five of you run away from this worm. You guys take off the direction Toddward went. He takes a corner. You guys all take corners. You guys keep doing this, and eventually, the whole tunnels open up to this massive, almost stadium-sized chamber. Oh shit! And in front of you, you see a massive, decrepit chapel of some sort, some kind of church. Do you think they have a wash basin? I would like to go in our down here. Super jealous of that. Perfect. Probably full of shit. Stick around, me, kid. I'll dry that shit off. Who the fuck are you? I don't know what it is. I hate it. You notice. Oh, great. You're slipping again. You notice that this chapel is completely surrounded by worms that's about the size of a human arm. You can hear this squirming sound, just kind of like endlessly squelching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and this chanting, this, this weird inhuman chanting, very rhythmic. This entire structure stinks of sewage, as you would expect. I play my flute to again. Can you play the flute again? There's lots of worms in here. That's fair. All right. Give me a 2d6. <laughs> I mean, give me a d6. A single d6. Five. Okay, yeah, uh, terrible sound again. Fuck. So much that, like, the worms, like, the little squealing sounds that they're suddenly making are trying to, like, match what you're playing to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand on his shoulder. The greatest teacher is failure. I can't tell if it's Screech or Dorchin right now. That was both wise and slightly uneasy. <laughs> yes. He's just being nice. I think he sucks at that. God damn it, we must. We must. I'm gonna march up the stairs to the chapel. Okay. Yeah, you walk up the stairs to this chapel, and you notice that these worms, while kind of everywhere, are really ignoring you entirely. They they don't seem to pay you any mind, uh, I'm which like is good because how big they fucking are. Uh -huh. And you guys, yeah, you walk up these stairs. The, the door is wide open. This front door of this chapel. Are you guys all following him up the stairs and into the building? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of like backing up the stairs because I want to see if that other worm is continuing to follow us. Okay, that's fair. Um, you, you're you kind of keeping an eye weemit on the tunnel that you guys emerged from into this chamber, and you don't see anything as you guys are backing up, fortunately. That, that worm, you must have lost. And as you can tell, he was very slow. And for mechanical transparency, just so that you guys, listeners, I guess, or whoever cares, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's slow moving, that worm. It's a DR-10 to hit the worm. And uh, you can always be outrun unless you're grappled. Ooh. Always. Yep. So the fact that you said you're running, I'm like, well, that's, that's the end of that then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing you're, you're, that's, you got away from it. Um, which makes sense considering how slow moving it is and how quickly you guys can run. So. You guys all head up these stairs. You walk into this small chamber. Faint smell of mud and earth in here and this soft squelching coming from deeper within. There's this thin, muddy sludge underfoot. Now, the door was open and, and muddied, and you notice that there are tracks of barefoot humans in this sludge on the ground. The ceiling is vaulted uh, with this fine gold painting, but it's mostly covered uh, by smearings of shit, naturally. You notice that there is a golden chandelier <laughs> hanging from the center of hmm. the room from a short chain from the ceiling. To the north, you notice, uh, as you go deeper, because you guys are heading north, let's assume that, uh, that... In front of you, there are three options, really. A central door, uh, it looks worm-eaten wooden door, and on both sides, there are open alcoves that lead deeper into the church. 
What do you guys do? There's just a big door there. There's like yeah, there's a worm-eaten wooden door, and then on both sides open alcoves that lead oh. deeper. Um, can I peek through that door real quick? Yeah, you you kind of plop up to this door. You kind of give it a crack to see what's inside before what's inside could potentially see you, whatever it might be. But you immediately as you crack this door, you notice this rotting stink, this bubbling sound from. As you open the door, you notice there's a font on the opposite wall, the rear wall of this room. Uh, the walls are splattered with that same sludge, Ugh. but there's a, a single person kneeling at this font, and he's he's rubbing this sludge from the font into his eyes. I'm going to push the door slowly open and and walk in. Okay. Uh, Oh, Uh, sir, could you maybe help? He turns to you, and you see that his eyes are, like, just piss yellow, like jaundiced, Mm. but beyond jaundiced, still rubbing this this shit in his eyes. Give me a reaction roll. It's a 2d6. And we're going to have you add one to the fact that you approached there relatively calmly. Six, five. Six and five, so an 11. He looks at you, kind of wiping this shit directly out of his head. <laughs> Ooh! Ah. He's looking around. He's just kind of like, kind of shocked. He's a little bit taken aback. Are you the only one here, or? Oh, no! Not at all! You are very excited. Yes! yes. Give me a give me a presence test. DR fourteen oh, is no. talking to you. Jesus, mm. fuck! <laughs> I got a five on the dice. So. You got a five on the dice. Okay, so yeah, as he's talking to you, you're kind of getting a good, you're taking in what you're seeing, and what sticks out to you, and you're almost fixated on it, is as he's talking, you see it because he's been rubbing this shit in his eyes. There's just like you know, you're going to get pink eye from that. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> and he, you see this like. There's some sludge being like mashed by his eyelid that's just fucking grossing you out as it's frothing. Um, and you just start a little vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I vomit? Yeah, so he says he's got a sickening gaze. One creature must test presence DR14 or become incapacitated with vomiting until the end of their next turn and become infected. <laughs> so I'm a skeleton. Oh. You are, so don't worry about that. But you are vomiting still, because uh, I imagine okay. that's. Mentally, that's fucking with you, you know what I mean? He's puking so up bone you, chips. You'll, you'll get the incapacitation, but as you do that, he just immediately taken aback, like, offended by what you've done, and uh, he, uh, you can tell that he's. I'm sorry. He's, he's, it's your eye. It looks like a festering asshole. <laughs> he, 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 you see his face change from wonder and, and confusion and excitement to to rage as he draws this mace from his belt. You see this thing's like it clearly has something to do with what they're doing. It's got this weird bulbous head on it. And it looks like it's to be made of some kind of hemorrhoid, some kind of rubber or something. You're not entirely sure. Mm. Not, it's the, it's like, the outlining of the sphincter. <laughs> maybe, but you notice it's it's spiked with nails. Cool. So uh, <laughs> then he's pissed. Give me uh, initiative, boys. One. So so he charges at you. I bet uh, he does with this with his mace and uh-huh. swings it at you. Give me your gear twelve agility. Okay. And you are incapacitated with vomiting. I sure am. So I feel like you can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, no. So that being the case, take D6 damage minus your armor, of course. Oh, the heavy one. Okay, so take two damage. Oh. Four minus two. While well, this entire he's thing is happening, he's not doing good. Too. <laughs> yeah, you've been all standing good. here in the right. narthex watching this happen, I'm, and I'll just bam. <laughs> I'm not. I'm actually not you at all. Son of a I, bitch. I turned down to the little man like when Toddward walked up and started peeking in the door. So like. <laughs> Hello! Dude, like, just, I want to know that, that, like, Jake's ridiculousness is happening in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to say so, yeah. This is probably <laughs> happening the time that that was happening, yeah. I'm sure that this is not going to have any bearing on conversations we have in the future. <laughs> but what the fuck are you all about? Me? <laughs> yeah. I'm kissed by the sun! What the fuck does that mean? If... Bright Lord! The oh. fuck is a bright I don't know where he came from. I don't know where Toddward's vomit is coming from. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> Skeletons. I am also here. What? I just... Shouldn't we just, like, go help him? Then I'm currently... I am trying to, like, wrestle this mace from him. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, okay, so, shit, Dorian. However, though, you are incapacitated uh, until the end of the next turn. So this first turn of initiative... Oh, is, I'm just don't... getting clobbered. Yeah, you guys... You guys are having this conversation yeah. while yeah. I'm getting clobbered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to think it as we... like, should we help him? Just wham! <laughs> <laughs> it's another time... Another time where I just disturbed to Tommy and fucking shrug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tommy wasn't paying attention. He was staring at the gold chandelier like, Oh, that would look nice in the arch. So it's fucking chambers. Oh, wait, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> he definitely would. Uh, 
I love I love going from a team of just like complete assholes to one of just nobody can even pay attention. Everyone's at all. got their own thing going on now. So it is our turn then. Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> everybody okay. everybody but Todd Word. Hey, I'm still throwing up. <laughs> He's still throwing up. Yes. Just shut the door on me. It's fine. Well, I, I gotta think that you're you're in the north. You probably like you open the door. You didn't really go in that. I room, did I say I walked in. Did you? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. the door the door is open. Yeah, yeah. You see him fighting him in it, that. It makes sense travel. for me to go in first. Okay. I'll go and go try to stab this dude in the neck with this fucking halberd no, thing. Keep keep in mind this room is is very small. It's big enough for that dude and and uh, Todd Ward, but another guy gets in there, it's gonna get very cramped. So, but keep in mind that you have a long weapon. You can probably stab through. All so I went so. for it yep. instead of trying to shoot. What are we up. in the fucking confessional? Kind of, well, it's a chapel. It's a really small. If you saw the the map, is very small. It's yeah. Like, we must be in the confessional. Strength, part. I just no. That's he listens up. to all of our shits. That's actually coming up. Oh, <laughs> seven. Yeah. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, yeah. that hits for sure. Damn. Seven Jesus. damage. Seven damage. Minus D2. Okay. He does have the same ribbed skin that you're seeing on a lot of these cultists. Two set for five. Five damage. Okay, that's wonderful. He's still alive. He's very bloodied because you stabbed him in the, in the, neck. In the midsection, right? Oh. Is that what you're going for? Uh, going I, for? I was going for the neck. Oh, the so neck, So I was like, yeah. just, like, right between the bones of the clavicle? You got him right in the clavicle. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yeah, just slice <laughs> right through that. You see him, like, just gushing blood out of that area, but he's still going. He's very mad, though. Yeah, of course he's mad. He's Ed Wynn hanging out in here fucking rubbing shit in his eyes. He's <laughs> That's what I do. That's true. <laughs> I think that's you guys. Yeah. Right. Uh, Tom's yeah. gonna run over and see that there's no room for him to get in there, so he's just gonna either wait for the pink eye to run <laughs> out or, I don't know, let everyone else take care of it because, you know, there's no reason to have the whole room clouded up with people. I, I probably would have just stand back as well if he was getting clogged. Alright, anyway, what yeah, about uh, Weemit? Weemit's gonna line up a shot. Jesus Christ! Uh, jam his, uh, his shit stick in the closet there and kind of stir it around a bit. We're gonna have the gross. same... <laughs> we're gonna do the same, yeah, yeah, because of the clogged thing, a five or lower yeah. hit the homie. I am so close to dying. I... I are you? Are you that? I'm gonna I'm open that. Four. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I'm gonna open that. Goddamn. Yeah? That's a that's a four. God damn it! Oh my god! Okay, so, so Todd oh god, oh and Screech are both in the doorway. <laughs> oh We're gonna call god. it a D2. Yep, D2. Well, one, it's Todd, or two, it's Screech. That is a two. Screech, you're taking damage. Uh, yes. D8 damage minus Screech's armor. <laughs> two. Minus one for one. Same as last, but it takes Wow. Yeah. Ooh. wow. I'm starting to think that. Remod is not so friendly. Hey, you guys, remember what you guys did to Fisk? Just, just keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I am the problem. I'm, the, <laughs> I'm not quite convinced. I'm not quite convinced that you're on our side, friend. I I God, to take another shot at me. <laughs> Rub it in your eyes and you'll see the truth. Hey, he says that you guys are fighting him. I puke in his mouth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, that puts us just to uh, the tiny little weird man. I don't feel like he would do anything. He That's just might have good. me crazy. Typical Levi move. I mean, <laughs> I do. But it would I, blow up that whole room? You're all okay. dead if I do that one. Oh, do you have that tonight? I do have that. Let me ask you a question. Uh, what wow. is your class? Ah, I am playing the Sun Scorched Zealot. Oh, the Sun Scorched Zealot. Just like yes. Rumbo was you're at a, one point. You're a bomb. In our previous Cold of Death yes. play on our show. Don't like that. Oh and what? and the He's one power I rolled yes. was the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. Oh, so, so I'm fun. not going to use it. That's fair. That makes sense. Okay. Cut, cut your HP in half. Fucking bad yes. other other things. Kill everybody in the room, yeah. Kill everybody. <laughs> 2d10. Okay, yeah. then that gives us back to initiative again. Four. That's you oh. guys. Lucky. This poor dude. I'm going to stab him again. Okay, do it. How, how, how much longer are you puking for? I'm done. That is a 12. Oh, yep. 12, that hits. Wonderful. That is a nine. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Minus two for seven. Tell me about it. I stabbed this dude in the neck or in the clavicle before, and then Weemit shoots me right in the back. <laughs> and I turn and I look at him. I turn back. I stab this dude in the eye, and I just leave it there to fall, and just start walking back to Weemit and slowly kind of start hunching over a little bit again. Oh god! Oh, you're going back to back to form. Uh, so we've up. been here for year or er, for years, <laughs> for hours now at this point. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, you've been underground for hours. I point at Weemit and just fucking you, you, 
Not me. Not me. Not Hermione. Not Hermione. You. <laughs> <laughs> and I push him over into the shit. Oh, really? Uh, uh, go opposing strength. I got the 12. Yeah, you you succeed on that one, friend. <laughs> yeah, you push him, he teeters like a skeleton, but doesn't go down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a stand up right in his face. That was that uncalled for. That's fair. That's, That's fair. fair. That's fair. Um, That's fair. Um, who the fuck's Armani? Armani. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh. Oh. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Are you fucking weird, man? Just don't fucking shoot don't me fucking again, all right? Again, all right? All right? All right? All right. I'll just save him for Todd Ward next. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up from the shit floor. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to point at Wiimote. Make, sure yeah, yeah, make sure it counts the next time, because I'm time, sick, of this. sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get me killed. It, it sounds like you guys have a complex backstory. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Yes, that was yeah. wonderful. Billy and execution. <laughs> Love it. Is there anything on this fucking festering ass eye worm guy? Hey, that's a wonderful question. I Right there. Let's... I mean, he's got the mace. Yep, yep. Actually, he's got that mace, that ceremonial mace. And if you were a normal person looking at it, like a VR, well, or maybe, uh, you would call, you, you would see a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Figured. Well, as I was trying to like put together in my mind what the ceremonial ceremonial mace looks like, mm -hmm. I'm like, this is a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, that's what I was coming up with. Anyway, right. you're trying to loot this guy. Yeah. You find that, but as you dig through his pockets, give me a D66. 61. You find that much silver on him. Damn. Damn. Hooray! Ooh. That's actually like one of the better I things did. you can find yeah, on that yeah, list yeah. is the silver. Yeah. That's a ton, man. Okay, if I gotta like pull the halberd out of this guy's skull while he's doing that. Uh, uh, Todd Todd would. Yes? Yes? I'll be honest, I don't I'll know if honest, I got a lot of uh, time to hang out, and I watched the shrooms that I hate. Kill. Kill. That old man. It was fucking brutal. It was. It was. It was. It was. Ah. Ah. It was good to spend time with you. It was good to see you again. It was good to see you again. Till the next can, you do me, can, you do me, can you do me a little favor? You want me to do the thing? I just don't. I just don't. I'd like you to stop blading. Blade screech. I, I suppose. It's my fault. It's our fault. We both got involved in it. It's, it is whatever. But I'll be nicer to screech. If you find more that are definitely not poisonous. Yep. I'll yeah. test him on the... I'll test him on and I look at the strange little man that's joined us. Never mind. Never mind. I can't tell if he's smart or not, but... I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. And I kind of, like... <laughs> I kind of just hunch over, like, kind of get on my haunches there, and then put my hand on his shoulder, and I was like... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, too. And I grab the stick, and I just... I walk out all Tarzan style. Pull through and watch as you guys have this conversation, and he points to both of you guys, and then puts his two fingers together. <laughs> I, I push him over in the shit. <laughs> He's all over in the shit. <laughs> Except for he slips like a lot. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Takes the music to go down. <laughs> yeah, but he does. <laughs> Falls right on his Christ. hip and you hear a crunch. What's that mace do? Uh, D6 damage. I leave it there. Okay. <laughs> He's like, eh. <laughs> it's just a fucking toilet <laughs> plunger with nails. nails in it. Yeah, it's like a nail bat, but it's a plunger. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so, what do you guys do? Yeah, Weeman's gonna walk over and collect that plunger. Okay, yeah, go for it. D6 for the ceremonial mace. I'm gonna stand over by Tommy and look up at the chandelier. It looks nice. You both, how about Tommy and uh, Screech, both give me a D20. Oh no. Wow, okay. Is the scene? Five. Does the chandelier have mind powers too? Looks like it's about, it's, it's worth about 21 silver. <laughs> just, wow. Just estimating at it, you're like, yeah, it looks like a good bag. Get, get, about, get about 20 for it. Shit's played it, shit's played it, shit's played it. <laughs> Can tell yeah, from probably, here. Yeah, it still looked nice though in the, nice, in the arch, arch rogues chamber. Uh, should we, should we get, get, moving? get moving? We could, or we could or just stay I mean, here and admire the, the beauty of that one I, I, thing. No, that, I, no, that, don't get it twisted. That's coming home with me. Okay. Do we get the? You? How do we get Fuckface's head? I'm taking that. Fair enough. How are you planning on taking that out? It's not like we found a fucking ladder out yet. Actually, Screech is very good at climbing. Did you see it? He's right. Yeah. It is. We, we still have to bring it with us. With us. That sounds like a me problem, not you, Skelly friend. Skelly friend. Yeah, that's a good point. That's it's good. about the diameter of we must shield of faith. Any well, shit on it? A lot. Yeah, actually, pretty much everything has some smears okay. of it. Okay. Yeah, everything needs a good. I've lost interest in it. 
I'll uh, I'll take a peek around one of them alcoves you were okay. talking about. Yeah, yeah. You look through and you realize as you look through that the other one leads to the same room because you oh. see the other doorway. You know, as you do, uh, but you see Shin High reeking slurry, just liquid shit. I just That's... fucking walk through it. I've... You do, yeah. It squelches as you do. <laughs> give me uh, just give me a coin flip. Okay. Two. <laughs> Okay, give me a D4. Oh, no. Two. You notice as you walk into this room, too, that there are five of these, the same cultists that you guys interrogated, those kind of dudes, you know? You see a couple more of them, five of them specifically, just writhing around in this slurry, just, you know, doing their, doing whatever the fuck they're doing, but they're just having a great time. They're just... Hello, we're, gentlemen. We're, we're, hello, gentlemen. They, they are they all, doing the worm? Yes, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. They're just doing the worm in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you notice too, uh, rank filth just dripping from the ceiling and pooling on the on the floor, smearing onto the the pillars in this re- really large room. Actually, it looks like this is the nave of the chapel. About a dozen or so pillars line this pretty long chamber. You notice as well that there is an open alcove to the northeast corner. And again, you're facing north as you come in. Uh, in the northeast corner, an open alcove to the east, a solid wooden door. In the southeast corner, across from that open alcove, another wooden door. And then in the southeast and southwest corners near you, uh, both those those open alcoves leading. I'm, re- I'm just what I'm reading at the door you walk through. To the very west, uh, a set of double wooden doors. So to recap, northeast and southeast corners have two different, an open alcove and a wooden door. There's a wooden door to the east and a double wooden door to the west. I would like to spend a power. Uh, to do what? Oh. Twist of the arm. To who? To these gentlemen. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna. I'm getting there. What are you trying to do? Yeah. Why? As we mm. walk into this weird pool of shit mm-hmm. and all the wriggling and writhing. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Hello. We're from the other shit church. Uh, uh, you're here to speak to your priest. They, the one, one of them, a lot of them like kind of slow down. They're wriggling and they're kind of just like, it's almost nice like moves. Kids moves. Kids in uh in like a wading pool. Mm. How they would swim in there. Uh, they're pretty much doing that kind of thing. Um, I haven't one of seen them, that since '92. <laughs> right. I know. Yeah, you feel. Um, one of them just kind of like submerges entirely and stands up out of the water, <laughs> straight up <laughs> out of the slurry. Rather, it's not water. There's another. There's another. Yes. Another church. Another yes. Church. That's like this here. one. Like it this sure one. is. Where? Where? I can't tell Can you. Can you take me? I can after. Can you take all of us? We, yes, we will all go. But I first, I need to know what is behind all of these doors. Other rooms, of course. <laughs> what those are for? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. What are in the rooms? Oh, all kinds of things. Yes, yes. But you'd like to find out, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, you're not going to. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Well, well, can you at least tell us where your your high priest is? Oh, of course! He's in the same place where you can go fuck yourself! And he... <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling into it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that was a waste oh, wow. of a power. <laughs> oh, that's right, you use a power to do that. Okay, it's, up, so I, it's up to you if, if it works or not. I feel like you did come up with a pretty good idea. Yeah, he, yeah. He seemed like he was believing me, he, but then he told me to fuck off. Well, no, it was, it was when you were asking about, like, hey, now where's your boss? It's like, wait a The minute. counterpoint, though, like, legitimately, how many other churches of shit are in this town? Exactly. Probably a lot. Or maybe none. Hard to say. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, really that's really hard to say. Hard to say is the part that makes it a valuable... Look, I understand you want to, you know, push us around in the shit and have fun and fun. Yes, join us! Yes, join it would be very nice, but I, we've traveled very far. Many oceans. We've delivered shit to many people. He gets really close to you, like pulling your collar in. You've been across the, the sea? I have. How far from where? Smell my smoking jacket. It smells like shit! It's glorious! Exactly. I get, I just get close enough to take their faces and push them apart a little bit, and then clap my hands twice very very quietly and then step back again. <laughs> he just looks at Screech confusedly. I, I stare with malice. He is... He, is. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of like... He stares back, but there's just like no... Like discernible like emotion in his eyes. Like you're like, I don't know how to read. Screech has he's, he's become one he's with, become the one with the shit. He's, yeah. The festering the eye has taken over. Has taken if you know what I mean. Mmm. The flat <laughs> He's got the you got, you got poop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I need to. Uh, that reminds me, it's break time. Ah! <laughs> oh,
Welcome back to Flail to the Face! Uh. Mm. <sighs> so, you guys are talking to these uh, five worm cultists who are getting a little agitated, a little confused. Everybody's a little agitated and confused. What about his powers? What about his powers? Oh, right, how is that going to handle? Yes. Uh, you, you feel like these guys were going to jump you. Like, there's a little bit of sketchiness from way that they're... They're covered in shit. Right. <laughs> well, it's going to be slippery. You never, you never really had it. Part of the shit, part of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> part of the shit, part of the crew. But um, oh god, it feels like your persuasiveness is kind of holding him at bay. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It's definitely better than it could be. Look, how about you boys just continue your shit writhing while the rest of us um, go look for the high priest? The high priest. Or priest. Sorry, it's been a long day. My nasal cavity is full of shit. <laughs> oh, it's glorious, isn't that? Glorious, oh, it is. So you continue your play things, and we'll be on our way. All right, but if you want to join us, you know where we'll be. And he just swan dives into the shit. I just nod my head at him. All right, boys. All right, boys. I leave them. Leave them to be preoccupied now. Which door? So as yeah, as you guys look around, you see in the middle of this room, uh, kind of by where you're standing, there's a. Almost like a little, it's like a booth in the middle of this room. It could be a confessional of some sort or something along those lines. Is there a little ringer bell on there? A little dinger bell? No, but there, there's a big heavy door and it looks it looks saturated. Uh, also, in the further north in this room, you notice that there is another confessional type room as well, about twice the size of the one that we just described. Uh, again, again, there are doors to your, your east and to your west, and also in the. Let's slap that west door open real quick. The double doors? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you walk over to those double doors, you give them a, a push, and you notice that you're outside. It is, it's an exterior door. Oh, I shut the door. Okay. Well, well, wrong door. Wrong door. Wrong door. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like outside, outside? No, no, like, like to... out, outside into this arena-shaped chasm, you know what I mean? With all the worms outside of the building. Mm. Outside, of the, okay. outside of the church in this cave. Okay. Yeah. I Let's you. try the east door, I suppose. Walking across the hall. Shit. Yeah, you, uh get to this east door, you open this wooden door, and immediately the stench of sweat just washes over you. This dim light does as well, and also you notice that the, the sludge is a little, uh, little, little shallower in here. It's only ankle high. Wow, I like it in here better already. You notice that this seems to be a, a sleeping area of some sort. There's like shit-covered piles of garbage that these guys are clearly sleeping on. I mean, you you can assume that they're sleeping on these things because of the way that they're just like indented, you know, and like they've been sleeping on them. Fortunately, though, no, nobody's present in this room. But you do notice that to the north, there is a wooden door at the end of this. This is a relatively narrow, long room. Uh -huh. It looks like they're all kind of sleeping in a row. A wooden door on the north, and then a, uh, a stone door directly in front of you across the room. Well, uh, I would I would like to continue north into the depths of this place. Okay. I want to say, we seem to be on the right track. You already found mm -hmm. a room that smells better than everywhere else. I'll check the other door. <laughs> the one across the hall or the one in the north? The, the one at the, the stone, wooden the, one? The stone door across from you or the wooden door on the north? Then? The opposite of what I'm Todd going Rick's. north. Okay. Okay. okay, so yeah, Todd Rick's going north, you're going east. Okay, so both of you guys open up your doors respectively, and you notice, again, these are exterior doors, much like the one across mm. you went to. Um, but Todd Ward, you notice as you open this, you're not seeing just like the cave, like the other door you opened was. Um, you're seeing another section of of this chapel across from you, and there is another door. I'm gonna turn to the there. group and gesture for them to follow me. No, oh, we're right behind you. Okay. All right. You can you Lead can. The way. Lead the way. You guys all head out this north door that uh, Todd opened and walk across the exterior to this ne other door and find yourselves in another section of the church, a uh, reeking slurry beneath rows of wooden pews. This mournful wailing is heard in this room, and splinters of shattered wood litter the place entirely. Give me a D2. Anybody. I, mean, I point at Jake all the time, but anybody do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Because of my your angle, I'm always, Jake, I'm always talking one. directly to Jake. A one? Okay. A one. Good. Okay, uh, you not entirely sure where this this mournful antiphon is coming from, but there are shattered and splintered pews cluttering this space, forming like a makeshift barricade against one of the walls of this room. Up to the north, actually, in the center. Like this it's room, keeping something in there? Maybe, yeah, perhaps. You're not entirely sure what exactly is behind the barricade, but it's clearly a built barricade. Now, this room is, is wide and, and short, you know what I mean? So it's wider to the east to the west than it is north to south, you know what I mean? But also in this room, you're finding behind that barricade, as you guys are kind of getting your bearings of the room, you notice a silk flap, and it seems to be covered with this writhing worms. In, see through. I'm intrigued. Yeah, also on the northeast of this room, 
I mean, it seems like there's a small wooden door hanging off and hanging on its hinges. Well, don't just stand there, everybody. Let's take this barricade down. And I start yeah. moving some of the stuff. What? See what's back behind that that silk. As soon as you, yeah, as soon as you go to grab some of these pieces of wood, you hear this rustling through all of this broken pews. And another one of those giant worms no, inside in the no, hallway no, no. comes lunging oh, out of it. <laughs> it's just breaching like, like free willy. <laughs> 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 and uh, roll initiative, boys. Fucking fuck. Well, shit. Worms are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name Six, of the it's us. It's you, yep. What are you guys going to do? You have a moment to react. I throw the piece of whatever furniture I have in my arms. I like that. Okay, so first off, test strength to do that. Great. Normal DR12. It's a nat 20. That's oh, a nat yeah. 20. Oh my god! You grab a chunk of broken pew that's made into this barricade, and you just whip it at the worm. Oh. We're going to call that uh, makeshift damage, of course, so D D4. Two. Two damage, okay. Um, minus, two. Uh, minus D2. So do, do I get bonus damage yeah, or something? Yeah, four damage. Yeah. So oh, he, he right. takes two damage from that furniture? He takes four oh, damage yes. minus the D2. And his armor breaks. Yep, that's actually true. His rib <laughs> skin, it busts right through it. Oh, and actually, shit. this clarifies, because I'm looking at a different stab block of the same murder worm on a different page, and it says rib skin minus D2. Ah. So therefore, it should always... I feel like whenever yeah. there's a thing that's not that's deviating from the normal, ah. we just go with what it should be. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway. He took two. You took two damage? Okay, that's, that's not bad. You whip this broken pew at him, it shatters, and you notice a lot of these fragments just right into his rib skin, creating this huge random. Take that! Uh, who's that? Who's next? Uh, I hide behind Screech. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cowardly. Uh, seeing that the, the worm can be damaged, uh, Tommy's gonna run up with this tomahawk and try to go for the, uh, the open wound and open it up more. Love it, do it. Yeah, double DR penetration. Actually, this is going to be a DR10 to hit the worm. That's something I don't know if it came up in the last one. I think you guys never had to ride that you line. You mentioned really. it afterwards. I yeah. did, yeah, okay. So, yeah, DR10. Yeah. Um, I'm going to omen that because I got a two. Oh, okay. Good call. Good use of omen. And that that's a three. So, mm. all right. So, you're trying. You're trying to hit the hatchet, but like, or you're trying to hit him with the hatchet, but you're just hitting the ribs of what's left of his armor. Not that there's anything left of it, but enough to not do anything to it and you're pissing it. it off. Um, oh, good. <laughs> uh, we met Screech and uh, the new yeah. guy who doesn't have a name uh, yet. <laughs> I have a name. <laughs> of course you do. We, <laughs> we met, have not. Uh, we met's gonna go ahead and fire a crossbow bolt. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> I got a four. A four? No uh, fucking no way. No way, yeah. dude. Okay, I, 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 I'm on my third D twenty tonight. He, I like. I like how that this keeps <laughs> happening and that we keep doing it. Uh, the thing is, in this situation, I mean. Tommy's up yeah. there in melee. Oh. I feel like Tommy's the one who's True. in danger here. No, he oh. just turns around and aims at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it worms over there. He's over there. <laughs> no. Um, so, Tommy, you're going to take the D8 damage minus this your armor. legitimately Fucking kill either of you. You could. Uh, roll the two. Oh, oh, my oh God. God. Saved his life. I'm glad you're rolling shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a great place I've for you. And I've got the minus two for my, my best. Okay, you could negate it entirely. Yeah, negated. Oh, oh wonderful. my god! Beautiful. That thing whizzes. That 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 bolt whizzes over your fucking shoulder. It's, it's totally the lighting in here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were shooting at Toddwood. I peek around, yeah, Screech. Yeah, I, don't you dare fucking aim that thing at me. Screech already warned you about Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite know what that means. <laughs> oh, thank you, but Screech, go ahead. <laughs> Dorian, thank you. Okay, whatever. Uh, he, ooh, I'll, get, I'll get up and... I don't know if I'll get up in that business, to be honest. They're pretty devastating. Yeah, they are I do have the bow for a reason, and I could do that. What yeah. are you, What are you, weird little uh, light man? What, what is you, your fucking name? What is your goddamn name? <laughs> what, are you do right, what are you doing right now? What do you look like? like we haven't seen you in an actual fight or anything? Yeah, he just he's done nothing there. but said he's, weird things. He's like an eight year old boy in, in a knight's costume. That's what I imagine. I feel like he's just. For Halloween. He's just wrong. I'm just yeah. here. <laughs> he's just like a wrong. He's just wrong. I, I might help. But I mean, I mean, you just. What do you look like? Are you sitting there just shaking? Are you staring off into the mid distance? Are you banking <laughs> it in the corner? What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I, I guess yeah. I, I will take out my broad axe. And okay. do what with it? Do I spit shine it? <laughs> it's twelve thirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm Axe Man. He's sword guy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I I guess he would uh, go and attack the worm. Okay, 
She runs up with his bat, his broad axe. Broad axe. And uh, broadly hits it. Go ahead, give me that DR10. Strength. Just use the sun thing. Yeah, then you're all toast. Buttered. Toast. Literally. Can you imagine the smell I of that I literally off could kill shit? everyone burning here with that. Burning corpses and shit? Good, yeah. Burning literally. feces. I have, no, I have no idea what that smells like, and I don't want to know. It's not great. Nice. I'm sure. Nice touch. That's a 12-er. That is a 12-er. That's a hitter. Nice. All right. <laughs> give me the damage. Take a D6-er. That's two. That's two. Minus D2. I thought his armor broke. Oh, oh sir. right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> so you hit it. You uh, got him right in the uh, open wound. And then I'm gonna back up <laughs> to get out of the immediate range. You don't yes. want to be the, fir the first <laughs> person smart. in that. That's smart. Uh, Screech is the only one left to go, I believe. Yeah. I'll uh, sidestep him with the halberd while he's kind of backing up, and I'll go in for a stab on this creature as well. I'll make it happen. Dr. Ten. One, and I'll stay directly four. behind him the whole time. Just like with him, yeah. <laughs> shadowing him. It's a seventeen. That's seven damage. Jesus seven Christ. damage. Christ. Love it. Dorian's a monster. Juicy. Okay, it is its turn. Uh, since you put him down at this point, give me a morale test. Wonderful. Two d six. You're shooting for a nine or higher. Mm. Nope. Okay. It's a six. It keeps on kicking. Who's in melee range? You Tommy say is. that you're not. Yep, Tommy definitely is. Weeman never is. Me. <laughs> uh, Screech, you kind of are. You did the most damage to it. You drew aggro. So I'm going to attack you. I'm done with it. Uh, just makes sense. So this worm, uh, from that from that slash you gave it, it recoils from it and lunges at you, trying to give you that whole slam and devour thing. So give me DR. No, it's weird that it's slow moving, so it's easy to hit, but it's not easy to Have you to played Souls avoid. games? Avoid. That's a fair point. I played <laughs> too much. I'm not, I'm not enough at the same time. So DR12 uh, agility. I oh, use my omen. My I'm one. right behind him. Yeah. I use my omen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Fuck there you, you go, perfect. Oh, oh, this God. thing lunges at you, and you're and like, I push him out of the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like coming at you, like it's gonna eclipse you. Uh, but wait then you for feel, it. Wait yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you feel Todd will just give you a little push, enough of a nudge that you, our worms will blot out the sun. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of do. And you guys both manage to maneuver just enough out of the way where this thing just collapses to the ground. Damn it, Dorian! Nothing. Timing, timing, dodge roll. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, give me initiative. Uh, Levi. I appreciate the iframes. Yes, we cannot face tank this oh, one. Oh, That's a two God. on the dice, so that Damn, is the worm so again. Tight. The worm stands back up again, no! and it goes for another one of these that screech. Okay. So, DR12 agility. Yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah. Got again, you. you're just, you see it coming, you know it's coming for you, it's kind of got, it's locking eyes uh, if it has them with hmm. you, and you roll out of the way, and yes, Jake, keep your hand raised. <laughs> <laughs> I am right there. You are. I don't want to do this to myself, but do I also need to roll? I feel way? like because of the fact, yeah, or he's kind of he's kind of slamming it. down, and he's noticing it to get out of the way. You are still there, so I, I feel like you should. Then yes, only because you brought it up. You know, if you didn't, we wouldn't have been doing that. But oh, a natural twenty, natural so it doesn't get so fucking he, so he, he he the <laughs> case. You get a fucking nice murder. You get a you get a what do they call it? A parry? No, not a parry, but uh, a parry. A robust. A robust. Oh, a robust. Yes. Yes. I yeah. said robust. I don't know. Robust. Robusty. You totally get to robust. <laughs> Rigatoni! Riposta, yes. <laughs> I lit the fat of team. All right, well, after watching Dorian fucking step out of the way, I'm just gonna stick my sword up, like, ah, and, and cower a little bit. <laughs> I like it, yeah. 16 it on the dice, so. Beautiful, yeah. This thing lands on your blade. That's a Give me damage. D8. Okay. Damn. Where is that fucking. This is a flat D8, too. We got no armor left. Yeah, where's the. Roll 2d4 is not going to work that I way. Will. You can't do that. I will. You can't because you can't roll a 1. I know. Do it, I, I promise. I don't. What's the fucking. This one. I don't see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it, was, it's sitting, it looked like another 4. <laughs> I use my omen and max damage. Well, Damn. okay. okay. Auto transparency. I will say that that's, you don't need to. There you go. Okay. And then to tell you why, you roll the 2 on damage. He has no armor and 2 hit points left. Oh my god. So, one rather one. than spending nice. your omen, <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah, I, I fucking squinch up and I, I close my eyelids if they were there and I hold the sword up and I, I just prepare for that thing to land on me. And right. it does. It, it does, yep, it does, but it's, it doesn't crush you. You feel it land on the blade, you feel the weight and you're holding it up and you just feel like a little limp after that. Yeah, and, and then I pop up from the other side of the worm still standing and I, I look around and I'm like, am I infected now? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everybody, Kevin at the end of the episode. This episode features the adventure Church of the Worm by J.B.C. Perry, with Levi playing... someone. The Sun Scorched Zealot by Nick Trigijo, Thomas playing Weemit, the Catacomb Saint by Makuti, Kevin playing Tommy, the Shonky Skulker by Tommy Sons an Hour, Jake playing Toddward, the Destitute Thespian by Lindron, and Nate playing Dorian Screech John, the Narcomancer by Brainrat. This episode also featured content from 4020 Swords Which Are Not Plus One by Full Frontal Phil Jensen. Check out all these cool things in their respective Ex Libris Morkborg entries in the description accompanying this episode, as well as the Flail of the Face Episode 17 companion, Underworld Centurion. And while you're at it, check us out on our social medias, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, and Thread. And wherever you listen to podcasts, make sure to rate, review, and share with all of your friends so we can get out there to more people. While we're at it, if you haven't already, please check out our sister podcast, The World Standard. And if you like what they're doing over there, think about joining their Patreon. It gives you access to their Discord, which you can talk to us as well because we're on there. And just for $3 a month, you get a Discord access. With that, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you guys next time. Oh, send me your address, Thomas. <laughs> I have it. I have it. I have it. I'll give it to you. No, it's kidding. It's gonna uh, be like no. the end of Jane Silent Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Jake was quote <laughs> fucking clown shoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be. <laughs> Warm inside of a guy. Well, he's got like a hosta too. So a what? Like a hosta, so long reach with that thing. Oh, I see you saying. Uh, yeah, he does have a long reach. So. um I don't know what the word you said was, but I know what a you hosta. Mean. What's a hosta? Like a, it's like a spear. Hosta la vista. <laughs> it's like a spear with like you know two spikes that come off of it. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I have no idea. Mm. Uh, play RuneScape. You didn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. why. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Not cool. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's some deep knowledge, Levi. RuneScape knowledge. Never mind. Uh, no, Jake like twitch winked at me, so I just like hit him with a good one. <laughs> <laughs> when it's all a stress. that coming from? We meant. Is it? Yeah, that might be, yeah. It's okay. Probably. You can let it pass. <laughs> you could, is your door? Oh. Yeah, my door is closed. Hey, keep it down out there! <laughs> <laughs> We've been there before. They yell upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the deer uh-huh. fucking... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she just comes in there with a frying pan and just decks you with it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch his death. <laughs> no, oh, no, God, I'm no. so sorry. Someone call the. You see know. my face. This we, is our fault. We met, we, we met, we met, not him. Yeah, yeah. 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 You watch my head just explode, and then she looks at the camera and she's like, You're fucking next. And then it goes like black. <laughs> yeah, good thing we know your address. <laughs> <laughs> From <laughs> assholes to idiots. <laughs> that's, a good, yeah. that's a good title right there. Is that the name of this episode? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. it's not. Well, maybe it is, but it's not. <laughs> okay. I'll no. eat some shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. He's not eating it. He's rubbing it in his eye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Stop me in the technicality. Yeah, it makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>